Okay, uh, good evening. Tonight I'm going to be taking a look at Black Diamond Brewery out of Concord, California's Triple Plum. It's a Belgian triple aged in wood barrels with plums added. Um, and uh, it's 10.5% alcohol by volume. So uh, Black Diamond is uh, in Concord, which is just a city away from me, um, give or take. Um, So we're going to check this out and see how this is. So this is another beer from uh, Hopsy. Uh, so filled out the brewery in these growlers and um, delivered, although I've been picking mine up recently. Um, and um, so let's take a look at this. Mm, it has a very um, deeply oaky kind of a, um, an aroma to it. Um, kind of an alcohol -y aroma as well. Um, some spiciness there. Um, hmm. Color-wise, it's, it's a, uh, kind of a, uh, a pale um, amber color um, and definitely hazy um, and uh, it did pour with a little bit of a head it looks like it's um, a little bubbly pretty bubbly we'll um, give this a taste here Wow, this is really interesting. I feel like I've had some barrel aged beers and um, they were, the barrel aging made them very intensely, I guess, oaky or woody, um, earthy even. Uh, and sometimes I find that flavor a little overwhelming, but this is kind of um, a light version of that. Barrel aging reminds me of whiskey or of bourbon. Um, so all of these beers tend to have that kind of a flavor in the background. They tend to be a higher alcohol, so you do get that kind of alcohol um, burn or, or flavor from it. Um, but um, and those are those are the predominant flavors I think in these barrel aged um, high high gravity um, uh, beers. This is spicy, you know, it has a little bit of a bready maltiness to it. Um, the malts are kind of low in comparison to the oakiness, the woodiness of this. Um, and, um, you know, the plum, I think, is mostly non-existent to me. I don't get, a, like, a, a really strong plum flavor out of it. Um, a little bit on my breath out. Um, and I think that the plum probably helps mellow um, the woodiness from um, from being in the barrels. Um, overall, this is a really flavor intense beer, um, and um, it kind of goes nicely with uh, as a follow up to the Chimay barrel aged that I had tonight. And I feel like I feel like I'm on a barrel aged beer um, roll. Um, so good beer. It's a good beer. Uh, it's a little intense for me. I think I think I'm. I'm coming to the conclusion that barrel age is a little too intense for me. Uh, even in the winter time, I feel like it's a little intense for me. It's incredibly earthy, um, not smoky necessarily, um, you know, but um, oaky, and it reminds me a lot of alcohol. The alcohol content tends to be higher, and so it's more of a sipping beer um, based on alcohol content, you know, and appropriately for the style and alcohol um, uh, content we're seeing this lacing. Um, in the glass, um, but the very interesting um, beer. I'm glad that I've tried. If I were to describe something as a a light, summery, wood, 
you know, uh, bel uh, um, barrel aged beer, I think that this would be the one. Um, it kind of has a light fruitiness to it um, that seems to kind of offset the, the deeply uh, woody flavors coming through from the barrel. Um, you know, and it's, it's a pretty enjoyable beer. Good beer. Um, so, uh, there you go. Uh, Black Diamond out of Concord. Um, brought to you by uh, Hopsy, the beer, beer delivery in San Francisco in the East Bay, um, uh, the, the westmost East Bay, um, and um, great, great guys that run that place, great beers, great brewers that are involved in this, so definitely check them out. Um, there you go. Thank you so much uh, for watching about the Triple Plum Belgian um, Triple Aged in Wood Barrels with Plum Added beer. Uh, thank you. Have a good night.